This is the entire history of the Life Steal SMP, from Season 1 all the way up to Season 3. So, Life Steal SMP is a Minecraft server where if you die, you lose a heart. Everyone knows that, right? And if you lose all of your hearts in the server, you are out forever. In the beginning of Life Steal SMP, there was Season 1, created by two YouTubers that go by the name of Jetpex and Mapex. These two YouTubers were the one who created the Life Steal SMP and basically just started everything. They were the ones who invited some of the biggest Lifesteal members that we know today. So this is everything that has happened in Season 1 of Lifesteal. To make things interesting, one of the members named Ospy created a team called the Sour Patch Nation. This team contains many members like Adrian's, JPEX, Ospy, the Beast Woogie, and a few other members if I forgot. But after the Sour Patch Nation was created, the first beef started in the Lifesteal SMP. Another member in Lifesteal took Ospy's horse and killed it. And Ospy loves his horse very much, even after owning it for a few minutes. So just like any other Minecraft pet owner, he wanted to get revenge. So Ospy teamed up with Adrian to try and get revenge on Raw Shambeau, aka the person that killed Ospy's horse. Raj is like one of the best Minecraft PPVs out there. So he was able to kill both Ospy and Adrian. And after Raj did that, he gained 12 hearts, making him the most powerful member at that time. And after the Sour Patch Nation saw how powerful Raj is now, they decided to regroup and upgrade their weapons, armors, and get as stacked as possible. This is because they didn't want to risk any more members losing their hearts. After the tragic death of Ospy's horse, and after all the mining and all the upgrading, the Sour Patch Nation set a new goal, and that was to find some land and create a landmark for their nation. But soon after finding the perfect land, a new enemy was created. The Jolly Ranchers consist of the members Terrain, Pofa, Mapic, and the most powerful man on the server, Rochambeau. And because Rochambeau was on that team, that made the Jolly Ranchers way more powerful than the Sour Patch Nation making them the most powerful team in Lifesteal. No one would really stand a chance against them. And with this advantage, the Jolly Ranchers needed to prove their dominance against the Sour Patch Nation. So, one of the members, Terrain, decided to look for the Sour Patch Nation landmark. And while he did this, things didn't go so well for him. <laughs> Doing good. No! No! That was oh boy. Ospy had jumped me and killed me. But even after Terrain's death, he knew the location of the Sour Patch Nation. And after he found the location, he told it to all the members in the Jolly Ranchers. Now that the Jolly Ranchers knew the Sour Patch Nation location, they started to prove their dominance. The war between Sour Patch Nation and the Jolly Ranchers was the first big event in the Lifesteal SMP. This war just started everything. It was like the first thing that started drama between the members. Season 1 of Lifesteal SMP was already getting pretty good. So during the war, the Jolly Ranchers already started to have an advantage in winning the war against the Sour Patch Nation. But good thing for the Sour Patch Kids, one of the best Minecraft PvP players out there, Parrot joined the team. And you guys know Parrot, he's insanely skilled at Minecraft. I think Parrot is like the top 10 Minecraft PvP players. I'm not sure. But even still, he is really good at Minecraft. But even after Parrot joined, the Jolly Ranchers still won the war. For now. The drama between the two teams has stopped for a bit. This gave both teams enough time to get all the armor and weapons they need. And then a couple months later, the war started again. Both teams had insanely enchanted armor and everything, meaning that it wasn't going to be easy to kill each other anymore. Both teams had insanely good Minecraft PvP players. The Jolly Ranchers had Rochambeau, and the Sour Patch Nation had Parrot. This made the war way more intense. Most of the teams were insanely good at Minecraft. Because of all the enchanted armor and weapons they had, most of the teams were really like leveled out. No one could kill each other. And because of that, everyone in the server had a meeting that they would just end it because there wouldn't be peace anymore. So that is really what happened in the end of Season 1. So Season 2 of the Life Steal SMP has started, and the server has now gained a lot of more people. Meaning that they needed to create more teams for the Life Steal SMP. So two teams were created, MOB which is Clown Pierce team, and Poggies which is Paris team. And after these two teams were created, I'm pretty sure there was going to be a war in the near future. 
Both teams had insanely good Minecraft PvP players, and if they had a war again, it would be pretty interesting. So in the beginning of the new season, not many things has happened really. Both teams just grinded and continued to get as stacked as possible. But there was another team that goes by the name of P-Sync, consisting of Maypick, Terrain, and Oasis, decided to have some other plans. They just wanted to go to the end and kill the Ender Dragon and gain the Ender Dragon Egg. And since the egg is like the most rarest item to get in Minecraft, MOB and Poggies also wanted that egg. And in the end, somehow, I guess, I think Spoke got it. <laughs> Fast forward a bit, Vortex was trying to get Clown Pierce to fall for his trap. So he offered him a gift. But since Clown is smarter than that, he knew what Vortex was trying to do. But even still, Clown Pierce got ambushed by Team Poggies, and well, somehow this dude survived. He is. <laughs> Oh, mm, he saw me running. Oh my god. No, run, run. No! Oh my god! Dude, holy. Yup, he survived. I beg to beat him. But, anyways, a few months later, many things have happened. Spoke died, Parrot, and Clown Pierce also died. Later on, Parrot wanted to win the whole entire SMP. So, he came up with a plan. Spoke and Parrot decided to team up with a few other people and spawn TNT all over the SMP and just started to kill their enemies. And this caused a major war in the SMP. Many wizards were spawned all over the place. It was just, it was just looking like the dream SMP war. <laughs> and in my opinion, I think this war was way more interesting than the last one because they had a clown pierce. But anyways, fast forward after this war, season two ended of Parrot, Spoke, Rochambeau, and Vortex jumping off a cliff and killing themselves. So this season starts off by Clown Pierce teaming up with Rosh and Parrot and Spoke, I believe. Because season 2 ended with all of them dying, Spoke, Parrot, Rosh, and Clown. All of them needed new materials and resources. And because Clown Pierce didn't have a lot of things, one of the members, RecRap2, saw this as a chance to kill the Clown. And which he actually surprisingly did. But soon after Clown Pierce got stacked and got all the materials that he needed, he teamed up with Parrot to kill RecRap and teach him a lesson. Soon after that, Clown Pierce had a new enemy that goes by the name of McClutch. So Clown Pierce teamed up with Spoke and RecRap to kill Clutch. Clown continued to hunt down Clutch and return to the overworld. But when he did that, he got ambushed by Prince Sam, Vortex, and a few other members. Yup, Clown Pierce died once again. I'm dead. No! no. Yeah. Bro, if we can't take this. Let's oh go, 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 my go. gosh, dude. But good thing Clown had a Parrot on the side because with him, he was able to get all of his items back. But even after getting all of his items back, Clown decided to run away from Prince Sam and Vortex who were hunting him down. And now, Clown had a new enemy, Prince Sam. So Clown teamed up with another team that were also wanting to kill the Prince. Clown Pierce and the other team were up against Leo Wook's team. And because Leo Wook's teams were insanely stacked, Clown and Parrot needed another member. So they negotiated with Redons to join their team for now. So now, Clown Pierce and his team fought against Leo Wook's team. And in the end, Clown Pierce and his team gained the victory. And besides all the war that's happened in Season 3, some other cool things started. Parrot started to break Minecraft world records. Then Parrot and Leo Wook started to have some beef and started to kill each other. Parrot ended up killing Leo Wook with the help of other members. And well, that isn't all. There is still a lot of more to come in Season 3 of the Life Steel SMP. And I believe actually Season 4 is actually right around the corner. Let me know if I missed anything about the Life Steel SMP. And also subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed. Peace.